I've been to five of them now. Um, I don't know if I'm going to repeat the fall one for a second time to make it six, but um, it's quite interesting, I guess. All the hands-on experience you get here is nice, but when you actually get into the field and have a teacher there pointing out what you're really looking for and kind of breaking down images and then going and shooting them right away is a lot different than hearing it in the class and then trying to do it yourself. Um, but the camaraderie of everyone that's up there, and it's just a fun time. It really makes everything easy. Um, and I learned a lot more probably in those three days than I do anywhere else. Um, I guess trying to challenge yourself against everyone is awesome. It's the best thing you can do is just try to compete with everyone there. Um, but everyone's always open about teaching everybody else, and if you have a trick, they tell you, or you have a trick, you share it with them, and everybody grows. Um, and the critique, which is everyone's always scared of at the very end of the, the trip, is hands down the best thing you could ever do as a photographer, or anybody that's trying to learn anything about images, is having somebody sit there and break them down and tell you what you did right and what you did wrong and things to improve on. Um, really is the probably best thing I've ever experienced um, for learning better photography. But, um, crazy things have happened, obviously. <laughs> uh, you can hit 40 below at 6 in the morning or 4 in the morning, whatever it was, um, and catch gorgeous shots, or you can be in rain in the <laughs> rivers and <laughs> trying to stay uh, dry, but it's always fun no matter what really happens. What, we, what is your favorite workshop to go on as far as the... Um, out of all of them, I'd say fall, just because it's the, the colors up there are just amazing. Um, and you do, a, you do a little bit more shooting, I think, because the days are so long. Um, the summer one is a lot of fun, but the winter one's a real challenge. Because um, you push yourself extremely hard to be dealing with the bitter cold. And the long... The long it doesn't seem like a very... Uh, a short day, but even though the light's very short, it seems like you're out there for 12 hours. Um, it's hard on your equipment too, isn't it? It is. It's it's not too bad, but I mean it. It runs it down. Yeah. Like I use uh, my digital cameras out there, and there'd be times where you would literally set your shot up and you'd click your shutter button, and it wouldn't take the picture for 30 seconds because it's just so cold. Um, definitely adds an entire element to photography, but it's a blast. We usually base ourselves out of a state park, unless it's um, in the winter. Um, and we start off with the next day. So we show, we show up on Thursday nights. But what area of the state do you go to? Uh, the North Shore. Um, and a lot of them, it's Split Rock. It's a gorgeous state park. Uh, Gooseberry Falls, which has gorgeous um, rivers. And then there's a lot of other spots that we just kind of stop at. We go into town, or into Duluth, sometimes shoot. Um, but it's probably the 45-mile stretch on the North Shore that we go up and down, and we cover pretty good in the weekend. 